realize this, but back in the day, when I just started with Patreon, we used to do Patron's Choice. And when I did Patron's Choice, it was kind of a double-edged sword, and here's why. By the way, I don't know why the stream chat is frozen, but it has. It used to be a double-edged sword, and here's why, okay? So the patrons would get ultimate power. They would, okay? Um, and they would, they would outright have all control over this playthrough that would happen, okay? But, number one, undoubtedly what would happen, I'd have a bunch of patrons, and probably 10% of them would nominate and vote for games. Because the majority of people who contribute aren't looking to get anything out of it. That's just the truth. It's called the, the silent majority. The silent majority of my viewers and the silent majority of my contributors are not here trying to help out because they want something out of it. They already are getting something out of it, the free content, and they enjoy it enough that they want to support it. They're not here to say, oh, I absolutely need to get a game played or this or that, okay? Are there people like that? Yes, there are. But a lot of people just want to do the support and watch the content that's out there. So, but what ended up happening is here we are, I got hundreds of patrons and 20 people would nominate and vote on a game. Yeah, that would happen. In addition, a lot of the times, the stuff that the patrons would nominate and vote on would end up being things that the, my mainstream audience were like, huh? What's that? I still remember when they when they picked Danganronpa 1. And everyone was like, what the hell is Danganronpa? And freaking out about it. And keep in mind, Danganronpa 1 was an incredibly long playthrough that a lot of people gave me shit for playing. Like, dude, this game is like 40, 50 hours long and you're, we don't care about it. And I was like, yeah, but it's what the patrons nominated and asked for. We got to do it, you know? Um, So it was kind of a mixed bag because sometimes it would totally open my eyes to a whole genre or something that I never played, didn't even know existed. And that was really neat. At the same time, a lot of the times it wasn't in line with what my mainstream viewing audience was really interested in because it was just a small group of people who had asked for it. I truly feel that if we just did members only playthrough like that, that's probably exactly what would happen. Is that we'd have a situation where maybe a hundred members, maybe less nominate, even less vote, and we end up with a game that's great, but you have half the people complaining half the time, why are you still playing this? I'd rather have it with members will have very increased priority and very increased ability to formulate the polls or what game will be be ultimately played. But there is an element where the public also is involved, so that way we get everyone's input, okay? Now, if you're just talking about on a daily basis throwing a poll up, so for example, maybe you're talking about yesterday when I was here on the pre-stream, we were chilling and talking, I was talking about how I enjoyed playing Pac-Man Museum Plus so much the night before, okay? And it seemed like the majority of people on the stream, at least in the stream chat, were like, hey, what happened to my wedding ring? What happened to it? It's on my finger. That's what happened to it. It was a stupid question. Um, so, people at, uh, people were, seemed to be of the impression that they really, really wanted Pac-Man Museum. So I put it to a poll. Now, I put it to a poll here on the stream chat, and I put it to a poll on the main channel page as well. So I had two completely different polls. We had the live audience and the on-demand audience, both voting at once. All right, And once that was done, at the end of the pre-stream, it was about a 60-40 split in favor of Pac-Man, which I was all for because I had looked Pac-Man the night before. And as I said, <clears throat> likely I would not um, be doing that with a regular game that is scheduled, that's an ongoing playthrough, that's a new release. If it's a new release and people want an ongoing narrative or whatever, then yeah, I don't want to bump it. But in this case, Skyrim is a game I've already played when it was new. Over 10 years ago. It's a playthrough we've been playing since freaking December. It's known as the chill stream game. There was absolutely no reason to put priority on Skyrim. We could bump Skyrim at any time. It's definitely the game that can be bumped if we want to bump it to do something else. And it just so happened that it was a really great opportunity um, to do something different and for variety. And I really enjoyed myself yesterday. We had a great time, I feel. So, no regrets there. Excuse me. Okay. Now, Snowcrawl did another $1.50 tip, and is saying one of the dumbest things I've ever, I've ever heard. I'm seriously not even going to read it. Seriously. I, 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 if you, Snowcrawl, I want you to understand something. If you don't understand what you're suggesting is incredibly stupid, harmful, and fucked up, I don't know how to help you. Like, I, I mean this. If you think that saying what you just said is, like, something that should even be thought of publicly, you're, you're fucked up in the head and you need to get some help. 
I mean, can't you seriously for a second put yourself into the shoes of someone else and